Taurus, my fellow Taurians, welcome. We're going to do a general read for you, looking at your current energy. We're going to look at your desires, outcome, what's working for you, and what you may need to be aware of. Uh, we're going to try to key into your ter blah, 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 blah. your um, dominant energy right now in your <clears throat> and see what is going on for you. Sorry, I just can't talk right now. Ace of Swords, somebody is really thinking their way through things and being successful doing that. Uh, it looks like the Nine of Cups is in your desire, so somebody that is finally wanting to have that sort of uh, success. For some of you, it's almost like... Um, I get the feeling of like a business that is very craft-oriented, a sort of lifestyle business. <clears throat> The outcome is the five of wands, so competition, conflict, blah, blah, blah. We have the uh, hermit that shows up for you, uh, which is trying to go inside, figure out what's important to you, and make that known. And then what you need to be aware of is the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles, of course, is that energy of balancing all aspects of your life. Um, especially, I'm drawn to the water behind this particular individual, uh, especially with your emotions. <clears throat> sort of stormy times. Let's go through, let's start to clarify this Ace of Swords. As you're succumbing, overcoming different things, uh, I almost get like there's just been a generous ass weapon that's had helped or not helped for some of you, but there's just this, um, yeah, you've just had sort of a lion's share of really having to put in the hard work in order to create some type of offer. Now this offer could come, it could go, um, it's not going to be here forever. It may Hopefully, it's of good news. Uh, this little one starts just to be smiling about it. Uh, the Nine of Cups is clarified by the Sun, the Seven of Swords, and the Chariot. It's in your desires is, you know, for that success. That success is going to happen. It may not come how you think it's going to come. It may not sort of manifest itself the way that you want it to but it's going to happen and it's coming quickly and you're going to need sort of to buckle up and hold on and go for that ride. Now the five of wands is in the outcome. Ten of swords, strength card and the death card. It just seems like you're, there's, there's conflict possibly in the outcome that things just fell apart. You know, you tried, you stuck it out, things just fell apart, you learned from it, and now it's time to get up and move on in a different direction. What that is, I don't know. This uh, brings us to the Hermit card. It's like you want to go on your own path. Figure your own way. Um, or be alone. Is kind of what I get like doing your own thing uh, working on what you want having that time to heal and it's like you're fighting back against uh, possibly society uh, but it just seems like you're having to defend yourself you're having to um, you have to keep fighting you have to keep fighting for what you want. Um, <clears throat> Two of Pentacles, Star card, Justice, and the High Priest. High Priest is sort of that, you know, balancing life. We have Justice, that's a major balance. Um, and it's almost like you've got to balance the... There's better times coming, but it might be slow coming. It's almost that you've got to balance your hopes and your dreams against sort of the realities of what's there. It's almost like you're hoping for somebody to come in 
and be a guide for you for some of you. The others, it's um, it's like balance between a marriage that's falling apart and what you would hope to accomplish. It's like your hopes were broken in regard to some type of significant relationship that you were invested in that just fell apart. So let's pull three more cards around this. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the Hangman. Um, big time Pisces energy showing up in this. Uh, it's almost like you're daydreaming about the things that you want in life. Uh, because you're still figuring that out. It's like, you know, I've got the Ten of Cups. I want something that fills me, and at the same time, I want something that fills... Um, my family, it leaves me a legacy, it allows me to give and create and show and be generous with those that are around me. Taurus, that's what I have for you today. Uh, best of luck with this week. I invite you to like, share, dislike, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Stay safe.